Hello, I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor, and today I thought we'd uh, discuss grip pressure. It's one thing having the perfect grip, it's another thing learning what tension we need to use with that grip. So stay tuned. So what is the right grip pressure? The great American golf coach Harvey Pennock used to say that you should grip the club as if you're gripping a baby chicken. You've got to let it breathe, but you don't want it to escape. So that's one, one opinion. Another opinion I've heard is that you should unscrew the toothpaste cap off, off a tube of toothpaste, and you should grip it without squeezing toothpaste out of the tube. That's another idea. Another one that I use quite often with my students is that you should be three out of 10 for grip pressure. So if 10 is as tight as you can grip, and zero is as light as you can grip, three out of 10's about where you should be. What does that feel like? So here's a good little exercise to see what that feels like. If I take my setup position and I start trying to make a vertical circle with a golf club, the more vertical my club gets, the lighter I grip. If I grip too tightly, I can't really make a vertical circle. But if I relax it, suddenly I'm getting the club a lot more vertical. I can go back the other way if I want to. So I'm not gonna let go of the club, but now I have the ability to control the club head. Another, uh, another observation is if you're using a computer mouse to do something on the computer, you don't grip the computer mouse really tight. If you do, it's very difficult to control. Whereas if you're nice and relaxed, you have nice smooth movements and you can even sign your name or draw a picture with the mouse. If you're gripping it tight, you can't. Unfortunately, our brains are saying, the tighter I grip, the more control I have over my golf club. But in actual fact, the reverse is true. The lighter that we grip, the more control we can influence the club head with. So it's just a case of getting it three out of 10. Not a bad little warm up uh, exercise or part of your pre-shot routine, just to do that. You may even see golf pros doing this sort of thing in their warm-up routine or their uh, pre-shot routine into a shot. It just helps to relax the hands. If you've got good, good grip pressure, you will play better golf. Now, if you want to know more about the grip, I've actually produced a, a video on how to get the right grip, and I'll put a link up there. Uh, really work hard on, get on, on that grip pressure. So it, even if your grip is bad, if your grip pressure is better, it'll still work better. Obviously, I want you to have a good grip. So keep working on that, keep practicing, and uh, I'm sure you'll find you get better results. Thank you for letting me help you with your golf. I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor. If you like my videos, you can always uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel by uh, clicking the subscribe link. You can also go onto my website, www.thegolfdoctor.com.au, uh, and subscribe to my newsletter list so you'll be notified as soon as a new video uh, gets uploaded and you can get further information from my Facebook page or my Twitter page.